And now, academic studies showing super weird correlations. Hold it. Hold it. A study from 2011 found that people who are holding a full bladder are better at delaying gratification and making long-term decisions about money. The researchers chalked it up to inhibitory spillover. If you're in the process of resisting one urge, you're better at controlling other urges as well. This must be a big help in places with pay-per-use toilets. Okay, what's the one movie genre that goes out of its way to show conspicuous tipping? Mafia movies, right? A 2012 Harvard study found that around the world, countries with greater tipping behavior also have more problems with political corruption, like bribery. The authors guessed that this might be due to what's called a prospective orientation. Not so much tipping as reward, but tipping to influence future behavior, like one day I may call upon you to perform a service for me. A 2007 study in the British Journal of Psychology turned up this bizarre fact. Boys with a higher ring to index finger ratio had higher SAT math scores. At the same time, girls with a lower ring to index finger ratio had higher verbal scores. The researchers said this might be because both factors, relative finger length and math versus verbal aptitude, are influenced by the amounts of testosterone and estrogen you received way back in your mother's womb. The longer you spend in traffic every day, the less likely you are to stay up to date on politics. Maybe it has something to do with having less leisure time or more stress, but it applies to everyone with one weird exception, the super rich. For the very wealthy, the longer they commute, the more they were engaged. Maybe commutes by private jet counted. Okay, it's a little more nuanced than that. A study published in 2009 found that modern texts on ethics and morality were 50% more likely to go missing from libraries than all other books. The investigator suggested ethics students may be more likely to rationalize their behavior. Can't get rid of the hiccups? Well, in 1990, healthcare providers in Israel reported one really great remedy a digital rectal massage. Supposedly this works because the nerves controlling hiccups, like the vagus nerve, are also connected to the GI tract. Supposedly. Got a favorite bizarre correlation discovered by science? Let us know in the comments and subscribe so you won't miss our next video. And to learn about even more bizarre correlations in science, check out our article on HowStuffWorks.com.